best scenario I saw for myself living in the dark was to keep everything a secret. Because if I kept everything a secret, no one would get hurt. One day I finally figured out how messed up I was, so I went and got help. Yeah, no. Some of us are too broken to, to even think that far outside of ourselves. So a lot of us have to get caught in one way or the other. And uh, that is a great and terrifying grace. It was like taking a drug. There was this unbelievable guilt and shame and, uh, associated with it, but at the same time, I felt this, this high. I feel this sense that something is uniquely wrong with me. I always felt that God was mildly disgusted with me. Hearing that he loves me didn't really resonate because it's like when it's all said and done, he's still gonna judge me. Man, no matter what you did to clean yourself up, to look good, to play the right parts, to say the right things, shame was always there to tell you that you're bad. And when you're bad, God doesn't, doesn't love you. He doesn't want to have anything to do with you. You have to earn that love. Shame is that thing that drives my compulsive behavior. I was a slave to it. That's when it clicked. Lust is desire gone mad. So every man, every woman struggles with lust. Eventually we begin to face, it's an addiction. It's going to kill us. No! So often we think God is just trying to get us to conform when really what he's committed to is unbelievable transformation if we could only enter the depths of his love, we would find our lives deeply changed. He loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how when the prodigal hits the bottom, something can grow. Nothing so dead. God can't grow something living in it. <laughs> <laughs>